Sigurd. Eivor, before you say more, I must tell you something. Randvi and I have, uh, have ended our marriage. I am sorry to hear that. Ah, uh, do not be. We adore one another dearly, but our marriage was not built on love. We were brought together as an act of peace. I was pledged to her well before I knew her, and though we have tried to settle our differences and find love in our faults, it has not worked out. And so we have dissolved our bond. Yet as a clan, we will grow together. And I'm glad for you both, and for the rest of us. This place would not be the same without you two. Greetings. I want to see the Alliance map. Hamptonshire, the last Saxon stronghold. And very heavily guarded. King Alfred is preparing for war. You will meet tremendous resistance. As will Alfred. Is Guthrum Jarl there with his army? He is. He and Uber have gathered a sizable force and intend on launching an attack on Alfred soon. If we support their assault, England will fall to us, a pagan land where a multitude of gods may freely roam. I'll go to Hamptonshire and speak with Guthrum. Send word to our allies to gather on the Thames just outside the Shire. I will. May the gods share in this. Our final victory. What is it? Eivor, you must not go. You must not. The signs, the portents, they shout and veil. Your leaving will be our doom. Speak clearly, Valka. What have you seen? I have thrown the bones. I have stared the offal of beasts. And in the rising steam, I saw the end of it all. Though this battle you may win, this war you will not. Your foe will be your master. Your hope will be your grief. This is fate. Our fate. I thank you for this, Valka. But the yawns of fate are too frayed for me to follow now. I owe this fight to my friends and allies. And I will see it through. Go then. With great care. But know that the home you leave will not be the home to which you return. Eivor, you come at Guthrum's call. It is good to see you. And you, Soma. There is an uneasy peace here. Both armies with their hackles up. Was blood spilt? No. We took Werum without resistance. These Saxons accompany their lord as we stand beside Guthrum. So this ford is not the sum of his ambitions. Guthrum's plan is to bring the Saxons to the table. If he can win the peace without a fight, he will do so. And how likely is that? Just now, they sit on their thumbs in the church, talking in circles. Come, I will take you to him. Who is Guthrum meeting here? Is it Alfred? That's right. The King of the West Saxons has agreed to negotiate. Seems we have him on the back foot. Guthrum should be careful. Alfred speaks with Loki's tongue. Guthrum is not a babe at teat, Eivor. Nor is Alfred. If he has come, it is for his own advantage. Then give us counsel. Stand by Guthrum, show our strength. The King of Hayseeds will soon be humbled, trust me. We took this town as if it were a straw hole. Do not challenge me, Elf King. Your show of swagger and strength has my attention, Guthrum. But we agreed on terms. What more do you want? The crown of Wessex. Wessex has a king, and that king has the backing of the Almighty. Yours is a fever dream, Dane. 
Queen need not ask for it, Goodwin. We will take it, as we have taken all the kingdoms of England. Ah, Eivor. Our blunted tool returns, Lord. I have given you all I care to. A Dane geld to leave Wareham. You swore an oath upon the cross and that pagan hammer. And when you scurry back to whatever shit-soaked hovel you crawled from, we will release your men. Speak again, handmaid, and I will feed your tongue to Eivor's raven. A fair trade. We already have your cock. Are we done with this pissing contest? If Guthrum has given you his word, then he will honor it. We will leave this town. You have one day. Do not test the king's patience further, or our men will return to Wareham with force. And if you doubt my conviction, know that the Avon River near Uffentune runs red with the blood of your countrymen. Their commander, what did his men cry as he fell? Ula? Uba? Yes, that was it. Remember, you have taken my silver. In return, I expect your honor. I will await news of your retreat in Chippenham. Uber dead? It cannot be! Gods, I will tear that Saxon skin from his bones if this is true! Alfred hisses with a snake tongue, but he gains nothing from this lie. When news of this spreads through the camp, no Saxon will survive the day. You swore upon the cross. Oh, I have no intention of cowing to that milk sack. Now more than ever, I will take his throne and his head. In Winchester, Alfred used me as a tool and cast me aside. So let the betrayer be betrayed. We will burn this village to the ground. After that, we take care of Alfred. Ahead. 
can rest here a moment. Now, tell me what you know of that breaker of rings. Weak and wretched troll. Alfred is a wily fox. He appears frail, but draws upon an inner strength. He'll not be easy to oust. Fury will fuel my army and my claim. It will not be enough. You must find a weakness. Yes, that is why I called you here. Do you balk at the opportunity to bury the Saxon king? I must first hear a plan to balk at. Alfred spoke of Chippenham, a squat hovel of sheep and peasants. So why does he go there and not to Winchester? Your scouts must know they're the best in England. A holiday feast, their Saxon Christ mass. Alfred will warm his heels by the fire while Uba lies cold in an English field. I have called upon my allies to join us in this fight, but I must know where to send them. Is Chippenham our final prize? It is, but uh, I will need my men for the coming fight as well. The hostages Alfred took, if there is a chance to save them? You will not lose more friends today. Where are they held? A place further ahead through this forest. They call it Hampton Blockade. Soma, ride north to the Thames and lead my allies south. They should be gathered by now. I will. Gather on the river passing Chippenham. The rest of you set up camp there. I called you Raven Feeder once. At Porchester, you are as hot-headed as Thor. You have become a true leader, Eivor. There is much to come, Guthrum, before we can rest with mead in our hands and songs in our ears. I will crush Alfred's skull with my bare hands if Uba is dead. We cannot dwell on this, even if it's true. If you want the throne, only strategy will deliver it. Or bloody Bath will steal it. I will follow this Alfred, hound his heels. Revenge yeah. burns. A wise man once told me, we do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected and strike swift. You turn my words against me now, Wolfkist. I took them to heart in my darkest times, my friend. And Sigurd? He is back with you? My brother's story is a long one, and for another time. Another strong ruler will make Wessex harder to tame. You almost sound like you respect him, Ivor. I have come to understand the trials of leadership, Guthra. It's hard not to, and you cradle something as fragile as life within your hands. There. This is the blockade. The hostages must be in these buildings. That was not to draw attention here.
Guthram, some of your men. We will not be feasting in Odin's Hall tonight, boys. Uh, ready to pay attention now? We can shred quietly, so as not to alert the guards. I can raid this place in moments with my crew. Are you Guthram's men? Aye. Free us and we will fight by your side. My thanks. Gods favor you. Every Saxon who spat at me will die. You'll have your chance, but don't be foolhardy. Let your steps take you far from here, to our camp near Chippenham. Thank you, Eivor. You did a great deed here. Their families will raise a cup to you. I need no thanks, Guthrum. Let us speak more oh. when we are safely away. You should join your people at the camp. Even a surprise takes preparation. Your bravery, your leadership, Eivor. You wear it well. You have grown much since last we spoke. You judged me fairly, Guthrum. Harsh, though your words were. But I do not make the same mistake twice. How is your brother, Sigurd? He lives. A changed man. But he is free of Fulke's torment. That at least was a deed well done. Will this all be worth it in the end? Everything we have done, everything we have sacrificed to win this land. Sometimes I dream of soothed black furrowed earth and blood seeping from seedlings, poisoning our future. We must believe our way of life will survive. Our fates are woven, but our deeds forge our destiny. Ah, and so to our final battle. We will wait for you at the camp.
Eivor, you made it unscathed. They came from all over England. I never thought it possible, Eivor, that you would rally Saxons and Norse under your black-feathered banner. They see the tyranny of this elf king. He would crush them all under heel and plug their hearts with his god. So what is the plan, Eivor? When is their feast day? A few nights from now, but their revelry has already begun. We should attack now. That is unwise. Soldiers pace the paths of the village. Then the night of the feast, under cover of darkness. That is when we will strike. Uba will not have died in vain. We await your instructions, Eivor. I'll greet my allies first. Good. Come find us again when you are ready. Do you believe the Saxon Lord? Is Uba really dead? Aye. A few survivors found their way to us. The great man is gone. The last vestiges of Ragnar's legacy begin to fade. We have lost many fire gods. This land has sapped our strength. There will be too few of us to settle when we are done. All is ready. I'll be here when you're done. Giedrich, after Rochester. I was not sure you would come again. I've chosen my side. It would soon a better hog than allow Alfred to pillage the land of love. Guthrum will trample Alfred's ambitions like weeds in the dirt. Mercia might rise further yet. <laughs> Perhaps I shall one day sit upon the throne of all England. King Giedrich the drunken ass. <laughs> I'll raise a cup to that. <clears throat> Look, you Saxon bedwetters. Here is a real warrior. Really, leave these poor boys alone. Their ears are too delicate for the filth you pour in. Boys is right. This streak of cat piss is barely off his mother's tit. And the Essex boy has hands like a milkmaid. Ha! Such fiendish ribaldry between you two. You laugh in the face of fear. Tweak old man death's beard. I will do my mother and my lord proud today, Eivor. The lord knows I have not been the best of sons. Good to see your spirits high. Fight well, my friends. And we will feast together in victory. You soft-cheeked Anglo boys. Have you brought your mothers with you? My mother is worth ten of your men. I do not doubt it. I have seen those strong Saxon hens clucking round the hearth as you farmers play with your cocks. Ha! And she'd welcome you in Colchester Villy. <laughs> Better than those sour-lipped thanes who haunt our hall. Ah, uh, Finny. You have come far at my call, old friend. I've done all I can to help King Oswald find his feet. I leave East Anglia in good hands. You do not plan to return, then? No. When I heard of a mighty warrior in the West who brings terror to the Saxons, I came to join you, if you'll have me. Once we have seen to Alfred, we will raise a horn. Not as allies, but as companions. If drinking and feasting be in my future, I will follow you to hell. Deolav, you have come again at my call. I have, but this does not sit well with me, Eivor. This is a Christian feast, and the people here are not soldiers. I come only for Alfred. Innocents will die for your ambitions. I am your ally now, but after this, I must turn back to Mercia. I have much to repent. So long as I do not lose your friendship, your oath will be fulfilled. Tevder, it is good to see you. I gave you my word. Besides, Alfred's faith is strict and he has no love for pagans. You have changed much from that god-whipped boy. That is good to see. And you taught me a lot, Eivor. Our time together was... Well, it taught me much. I'm glad, Tifter. In fact, I composed a poem for the occasion. Would you like to hear it? Mm, later, Tifter. 
I have many allies to greet before the battle. Stay safe and well until then. Mew. There you are, Raven. Lufina, Jor. It warms my heart to see you well. Well as ever. Better since we skinned those Order rats. I hunted down more in Winchester on Alfred's behalf. Now we come to take his kingdom. How quickly a coin can flip when tossed from hand to hand. Only a fool is a betting man. Aye, you're Alfred fought to use me. But he will find differently at Chippenham. We owe Eivor a lot, my love. I know, I know. This last of Ray, I hope the death will be cleared. I long to return home to our own warm hearth. Eivor! It's good to see you. Erke and Stowe, I released you from your debt, and yet you came. London is quiet enough, and Stowe here felt the sharp stab of conscience. Could not let you down, Eivor. That's not what an honorable man does. So here I am, despite my reservations. And you, brother. I did not think you would be here either. I have seen to my brother, sent him to Valhalla with grave goods. I am done with sorrow, Eivor. Now I am bloody angry. Eivor, <laughs> you made it unscathed. Let us speak of our plan to take Chippenham. Let us plan our approach. But whatever happens, Alfred is mine. They are not expecting us. We should not meet much resistance on the way. Then quietly through the fields. It will already be too late once they see us. Your young Saxons can be our eyes to the west. Better to keep their soft hands away from the conflict. My scouts reported that a few nobles have arrived for the festivities already. Good. If we capture the things, there will be no danger when I confront Alfred. And we could persuade them to support a new king of Wessex. I will subdue the lords. Take Deolaf and Tifta with you. They could prove useful in convincing the Thanes. Roder, take Erke and Stowe and capture the garrison. Make quick work of any Saxons that dare cross into the village. <laughs> Gladly, Eivor. We each know our parts. May they blunt their swords against our might. Tonight, Wessex's last resistance will crumble. I follow you, Eivor. And I. Be ravening wolves and croaking ravens. Stand firm, your axe arms strong, and together we will win this final battle. And remember, Alfred is mine. Soma, with me. Everyone else, go quickly to the village. Advance! Be on the lookout for any stray guards. Get to the village and wait for my signal. Let's smoke the rat out of his guard's house. Alfred! Face 
Trust me, and I will spare the last of Wessex from my torch. Did you think my king would turn his back on you, Eivor, when your knife is smeared with the blood of Wera? Stand aside, Goodwin. I come for Alfred. Alfred is long gone, and this good Christian feast, a cup of honey wine, to trap some wasps. Where is he? Calling his allies to his side. All those who wish to see Wessex under one god. You cannot win England with your sorry crew of deluded farmers and godless fools. At least I would not leave them to die as I scurried through the corn husks like a rat. You have no understanding of duty, the loyalty I freely give. His plan for England, for the world, is worth the cost of my life. Then sing your tuneless hymns. Come, Raven Feeder. Do your worst. Not so. By my death, my lord may live. Alfred used you, fool. He threw you in my path. For what? He only delays what is inevitable. Kill me then. It makes no odds. For here you stand, bloody and breathless, no closer to my king, no closer to his throne. This island will never be your home, Eivor. You will not subdue her with vicious force, or win her with cocksure words. We Saxons will always stand firm, shoulder by shoulder against thieves and tyrants, whose envious eyes fall upon England. No. I will use you as you used me. A few hours in the company of my men, and you will lead us to your Sparrow King. That I cannot allow. They came from every house and hovel. 
I need you fighting with the rest. These men will not surrender. And one little cock slog barricaded himself behind that door there. I will find a way in.
interesting move. Uh. Get you to safety, Hunwald. Stay calm. I. <coughs> Hunwald, listen to me. You survived the Battle of Bottlestun. Do not let this scratch best you now. I'm so cold. Has winter come so soon? You will warm yourself with mead and dancing yet, my friend. Perhaps not, Ava. It may be I will sit beside my father soon. Will he be proud of me? He will pull you to his breast, sob bright words of welcome, and, and tell you no man ever had a worthier son. I am glad to have known you, Eivor, my truest.
Viking West sections will not move us. You will not sprout us, interlopers! Not on this Christ mass! She is ours! Wessex will follow! Guthrum Jarl, we're not without losses. Some of them grave. Their king is fled, his patsy struck down. Defeat rings loud in their ears, and I will be their lord before the spring is here. Guthrum, hear me. Soma is. She's gone. Soma? Dead? She has gone to the Endless Feast, and she is the better for it. I must speak to those still living. Hmm. Your first battle, Ella Rich. You fought well, and with honor. Is this the glory you deign seek? You can keep it. I saw Hoonwald die. The light dim in his eyes. That could have been me. You will never be the same, but you'll be stronger for it. I have wasted so much time in pouting like a child. No more, Eivor. No more. Lovina. Gods, I, I did not know. Is, is he... Hush. What good can words do, Havor? Keep to silence. He is gone. For what days I was given to spend with you. For each breath that carried your sweet whispers. I give thanks. No more. Your fingers in my hair. No more your arms around my waist. The days will be cold hereafter. All color dimmed. Goodbye, my only. My heart ends with you. What is left will go on. It is done, Broder. You fought well. I saw him, Havor. In my darkest moment, Brothir stood beside me, and all was as it used to be. And then the battle ended. I feel him no longer. There will be other battles. Aye. And there you'll find me, Havor, in amongst the blood and death, Brothir at my shoulder, until the Valkyries claim me. You have given me more than I would ever have asked for. How will I repay it? Keep him in your thoughts. For when a man is mourned, his deeds cheered and his songs sung, he cannot die. Mm. You are not injured, Tefter. Bruises, that is all. I've taken the Lord into my heart, and he watched over my sorry bones. Those who fell 
sit beside him now. And what of my heathen friends? I used to believe in damnation for all who turned from his light. But there is a wondrous communion in friendship honored. Even though your godson preaches peace. And we shall do that, Christians and pagans, side by side. Never persecuted. Your Christ would smile at that, I think. Your Freya would too. Do you think there will come a day when winning will not be enough? Well, you can always fight with me if you want to taste crushing and loin-soiling defeat. My very presence would make that impossible. Enjoy this victory, Eivor, wherever it brings you. Only a coward thinks he'll live forever. Erke, you wear a furrowed brow. Stowe is taking matters hard. You know how sensitive he is. A man of faith and stout morals. Small wonder he's tormented. His support for you has taxed him hard. I will take him back to London. Maybe he will find some comfort there. You are his comfort, Ake. Not the city you watch. He is in good hands. My thanks, Stowe. You came to my aid when you were free to turn away. And still it breaks my heart to look upon what we've done today. Was it the right choice? I do not know. But it is done now. If Alfred had his way, there would never be friendship between Norse and Saxon. You fought for peace. Be proud of that. I wish I could. And in time, perhaps I will. He shall come to judge the living and the dead. Deolav, Gidrich, there's a solemn air about you. To disturb such holy revels with blood and murder. I fear God may never forgive me for this. Had your God taken Alfred's side, we would not have won. So it may be that you did his work after all. Alfred still lives. And now I am twice his enemy. Give me one more fight and I will gladly make it a third. He is defanged and a little threat to us now. That slippery eel may yet surprise you. Atonement is a long and lonely path, and I must soon leave to take my first steps upon it. Your debts to me are paid. I wish you well on your journeys. Uh.